All right, we're gonna go to a factory, check out these mocha pots, eat some dough. I don't know, Chinese donut. They don't, they're pretty good, they're good. Morning. Hey, <laughs> you know, I was here, I was just gonna yeah. pop in. Been waiting all, uh, all week for this one. <laughs> <laughs> So it's about a, we're in Iwu now, so it's about yep. a, it's about an hour, hour and a half <coughs> ride. So it's uh, 8 a.m. So we're hoping to get there by about 9.30. They're waiting yeah, for us. They sent us a new GPS, or I mean the more exact GPS. Yeah, I'm, I'm six, six. Adventure mode on. <laughs> <laughs> Drop test. <laughs> so we're uh, visiting the factory, our main factory, and we've been having a problem with the, the handles coming off, uh, breaking in shipment. It didn't break from, uh, here's. Yeah, Ino was trying to break. Ino was trying to break it. It only can come off like this, but oh. <laughs> I broke the metal part, not the handle. It's broke. We broke it, but the, the handle is okay. <laughs> but uh, so there's a certain percentage coming back. Of course, our Amazon's got some negative reviews, which is very p painful now. But uh, of course, we send them a new one. But uh, we're trying to fix it at the at the at the source uh, and work with the factory to make sure that it's uh, not gonna keep breaking. So probably put some additional support inside the packaging so that, uh, I think it's the UPS guys like throwing the boxes and crushing the boxes. Uh, Okay. We have this one to protect the. Oh. So they will not, will not scratch. Yeah. You know, you see this? Yeah, in production they use not, so it, it will not touch each other. Okay. To avoid scratches. Automatic line, so they turn on the. You see, it's moving. When they package, they do step by step. So this is where they're casting, so they're like taking a metal extra material on the bottom they need to cut. Oh. Aluminium bar. What's that? This is raw material. Oh. So they put it inside metal. The coffee maker before it's a coffee maker here. Wow, it's inside of a mocha 
makeup hot factory crazy. So thank you Laura for showing us around. Thank you. So that's how mocha pot is made. Yes. From sand. sand. And uh, most of the people you, you have seen there are choosing, selecting them. They are for inspection. Oh. Quality control. QC, great. Plus, we get these awesome Langzhou Mian, man. <laughs> Muslim, Muslim Chinese noodles. Yeah. Lunch time. Enjoy, man. Definitely, it's tasty. <laughs> Benefits of factory visits. Yeah. <laughs> This man, we're gonna drive. <laughs> we're driving through like the river, like literally. <laughs> okay, we made it. We made yeah. it. What the hell? Craziness. So we're yeah. back. We're back in uh, Iwu City. So the factories are, you know, all around, everywhere. But just want to have a quick recap with the Eno. Like, this is something I think every seller or or uh, e-commerce or product business owner should do. I mean, so many people, right, don't come to see the factory. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I see online that many people just search on Alibaba, get samples, order everything. But what, it's completely different level when you visit the factory, see for yourself what are the manufacturing steps, how your product is made. You can discuss potential issues, and if you had some issues, you can discuss how to prevent those in future so it's definitely much better to visit your supplier directly it's also different when you meet face to face they will treat you differently yeah I mean they they give you you see um, the showroom you yeah. see how other products they make are done I got some packaging ideas yeah. you know they try to solve and like we were talking about the packaging we, we try to work with with them you know you the supplier is your partner, you know, of course. So you um, you have to invest in this relationship. And I feel really at ease. I, I learned how a mocha pot's made now. And I feel a little bit more confident about the manufacturing, about the quality. And uh, you should feel confident, right? When you're selling a product, you, you should know your product inside and out. Yeah. We, we reviewed their uh, in-house uh, quality control process. So. Mike and me, we are bo both confident that they will do the good job in checking because it's mu much better if the factory catches mistakes and take out the ba bad products and puts them outside. It's much better thing than when we as inspection company come and fi find the issues. It's already too, too late. If the product is finished, then if we find the issues, then we need to inspect more then final result will be you don't have the quantity you ordered you will need to ship less exactly so it's just more reasons to to come out here spend the time and and because i think that's what really will see long-term success you know with our own uh, experience with manufacturing and selling online you have to have a good product you have to that's no matter how good your marketing is and your advertising but ppc skills if you don't have a good product you're uh, you're gonna lose so yeah. thanks again for watching we hope to uh inspired you and helped you and that's it take care okay bye bye from you all right cheers definitely a big shout out to insight quality Eno, andy church and the whole team there 
have really helped us get to the next level with our Amazon and our e-commerce business. Not just with QC, but they're like our local partner here in Iwu. I've been here for a few days, you know, and, and Emma and the team have been really helping out and they want to help out others. So definitely look them up, insight-quality.com, sponsor at Global From Asia, and we really appreciate them. And, uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thanks again. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and also check out our Instagram at Global From Asia. Thanks again and see you soon. E-commerce like over eight years.